Hey guys, this is Masha from Masha Plants. You can find me on Instagram and I also have a blog. And now I'm trying my hand on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is my very first video, so it's exciting and a bit scary. Uh, but this is my plan with me for May 2019. I did a poll on my Instagram stories and you guys voted that you want to have a photography theme. Uh, so that's what I'm doing for May. Um, I decided to go with the uh, different types of cameras and wh when I was done I kind of thought that they just looked pretty lonely so I surrounded them by flowers. Uh, as you can see I do all my setups in pencil first because um, I just don't really trust myself that much and I really I want to avoid as many mistakes as possible. So uh, yeah, everything in pencil first. And I hope you don't mind <laughs> that sometimes I'm just moving my notebook because it's, it's just impossible to draw these lines otherwise for me. I, I try my best to not move that much during the video but yeah that's kind of a uh, new challenge for me this time um, I will be doing tutorials for all the doodles I'm using in this setup and yes and as for all the supplies I'm using uh, you will be able to find the links below or uh, of course on my blog because I will have a plan with me blog post um, I don't really use that many different style of flowers. I think it's generally just three styles, all the three that you can see here. Okay, so that part took forever, all those circles, and I kind of started feeling sorry. I started doing that uh, five minutes into uh, the process. As you can see, I started it and then I got so bored, so I went to... Uh, kind of fix some of the flowers and add a bit more detail but yeah that part took forever uh, but I think in the end it was kind of worth it because I really like how it came out the camera looks more filled so at that point I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the color or how I wanted to color the cameras themselves because I was like okay what, what, what are the colors for the cameras it's usually like black or gray and i was like uh, i don't feel like having a lot of those like dark non-color colors in the middle of my setups so that's where i made the decision to actually leave the cameras black and white and then add all the color to the flowers and i think it created kind of a fun little contrast um, i used three different types of colors here so I use my Tombow du dual brush pens in pastel palette uh, bright palette and actually pastel set of Ecoline uh, brush pens I'm super super nervous and I'm extremely scary scared to listen to this recording again because oh, you know how it feels when you listen to your voice and you're like oh my god it's the worst but at this point I decided it's just it's just it's time I'm just gonna put out that video it's my first one it might not be as good as I want it to be but it's there it is the first step and from now on I'm gonna try to uh, do at least one video a week. So now we're on to my monthly log and I decided to go with the calendar view as well but um, make it a little bit smaller. So last month I did a calendar view and I did really huge uh, daily boxes which I plan to use to kind of write down one sentence summary of my day 
and it didn't really work that well for me because of, I've been have been so so busy so I haven't been really feeling that part out a lot so I decided to skip it this time and just go for little calendar which will be enough to kind of note which days I would have to do what uh, like my publishing schedule and stuff like that but not too big I did have to cut some doodling out of this video simply because when I was recording I didn't notice that um, my hat just got too close to the camera so <laughs> You, you'll, you'll see that um, in, in many cases uh, the video is a little bit cut uh, that's simply because my hat got all over the camera and uh, you couldn't really see what I was doing uh, but it's actually much better than the first time I tried to film a video so I know I can do better and I definitely will next time I decided to go with a bit different setup this month, not just for my uh, monthly log, but for kind of all the pages, I'm trying something new. So first of all, on the right side, you can see that I have a goals uh, spread, which is usually a separate spread, but now it's just kind of half a spread and there is no weekly checkups like I've been doing for last three months, I think. Um, it, it's kind of connected to the fact that uh, I've been really really busy at work these days and um, sometimes I just don't have time to do everything and track everything so the weekly checkups kind of became a little bit unused space um, so I decided to kind of do a bit different kind of goal setting this month. I will be talking more about it once we get to my uh, weekly setups. But yeah, so this space here is just to elaborately write what are my goals and what are the exact steps I'm planning to do almost day by day. Um, and you can see that I've been using some for calligraphy here and uh, that's simply because for me it's still the best way I can create beautiful lettering in my journal because I'm still not that good with in lettering to be honest and I really prefer doing for calligraphy because it kind of allows me to create the letters really the way I want them to look um, on the bottom of the page there is monthly stats that is for my stats for my um, Instagram my blog and now my YouTube I guess um, I usually monitor them on um, Excel sheet and have like a um, separate schedule on when I check on all my statistics but I thought it would be nice to see month by month change so um, I had a space, I had some free space on my monthly setup last month and that's where I wrote it and I feel like it was a very good practice. So I'm seeing this month if it's something that's gonna stick and work for me on a long run. Okay, so unfortunately this part had to be cut a lot because um, generally when I draw, I just draw really really close to camera and yeah, um, that part didn't work. I'm really sorry for that. I uh, also wanted to apologize for all the light, but I put my table next to the window and my windows are on the west side. So it was kind of a... A bit of a race for me against the sun <laughs> while I was doing this video because uh, I had to move my table like I don't know five times in the course of my setup I think because the sun just kept coming closer and uh, just not looking good on the camera 
Uh, yes, so this month I'm finally trying a circle habit tracker and I'm really loving how it looks. Um, I know that on the camera here I drew everything by hand, but actually to do the sketch in pencil I used uh, a stencil from Etsy. Uh, you can see kind of you kind of can see it lying on the top. Uh, we'll have the link for you in the description, but yeah, for me that's a perfect stencil to create anything circle. And when I got it, I honestly have been absolutely obsessed with doing a bunch of different circle elements. Um, but kind of habit tracker always always was a bit scary for me because it's it's really a lot, and I usually had way too many habits to actually incorporate them into a circle habit tracker but um, I've been gradually cutting down on the habits I track because I realize that the more I track the less I actually do so yeah uh, this month was finally perfect to give a try to a circle tracker and uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I just made a mistake in my quote where I absolutely forgot to write the word habits. And I'm so happy I do everything in pencil first. And I kind of left some space there because at least I was able to add the word. And now the quote, thankfully, uh, makes some sense <laughs> because I don't know uh, what, what I would do um, if if I had no space and that would just be a mishmash of words but honestly I didn't notice it when I was drawing it so there is a high chance that nobody would notice either I hope so anyways I had space so that worked out quite all right um, these kind of cameras I, I don't even know are these uh, Polaroid style cameras but yeah i really like that they have this kind of color thing going through them so this is the only type of cameras on which i decided to add some colors i really like the how the colors stand out against the black and white doodles so um yeah i decided that just these few times i am just going to add some color uh, so this month I am tracking uh, just, what is it, seven habits. All of them are related to my blog and there's just one health related habit which is me taking vitamins. I actually went back later to kind of finish up the tracker of the camera. What I did is obviously I wrote all the habits and I put the day numbers but because the day boxes become smaller and smaller as you go so I uh, added dates only on the top top circle uh, and I actually colored in a different color the weekends because I know that I have very different regimes between my weekends and my work days and that kind of is reflected in the way I follow through with my habits so I always try to make sure that on my habit tracker, I know which days are weekends. So this is also something really new I tried this month because I've been terribly busy at work and um, I, I kind of had some a little bit of a um, slump in my bullet journaling. So um, I noticed that last month I didn't really do that many setups, like weekly setups. I think I actually I just had two weekly setups and the rest I just kind of didn't use my bullet journal that often. Uh, simply because I knew how I wanted to make my setups look, but um, I never had time or energy to actually do that. Uh, so this month I decided to do my weekly setups in advance. This is something completely new. I never did it before. Uh, that made my setup much longer, but I think ultimately it's going to be a good thing. Uh, as you notice, all my spreads are one page. 
Uh, first of all, I'm using Nuna notebook, which means that um, one page is much bigger than A5. So it's usually kind of enough. But I also decided to do it one page because it's not going to be um, a list. It, it's not going to be as much of a to-do list as it's going to be kind of a focus of what I'm working on list. Um, I do have, I do know what, uh, what are my priorities this month. So I'm going to be working more on my blog and I'm going to be working more on this YouTube channel. And I do have a pretty limited amount of time where I can do it. So um, this time for planning is going to be mostly for planning my work-related things. And I kind of just uh, plan to write down a few basic uh, tasks uh, which I have every day like little steps I have to take every day to close up my goals before the end of the month. Uh, that's why I don't really expect it to be a very... Uh, to, I don't really expect it to need a lot of space. I think just these little boxes should be fine. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to kind of play around with the way I plan so it's it's fun to play around and just think of different ways uh, you can put the same information on the page. Uh, the camera on the left as you notice is the one that is left without the colors and actually I kind of just noticing it. <laughs> when I'm recording the video because I uh, honestly it this setup took forever and especially with the weeklies and with my fight against the sun um, I was just quite exhausted by the time it was um, by the time I got to my weekly setups so I guess I just didn't pay that much attention uh, you didn't see how I set up this weekly on the right, but I just wanted to let you know that I drew all the um, daily boxes by hand, so that's why they might look a little bit messy. One of the reasons why I do it by hand is because I just don't really like working with rulers. Uh, they really stress me out because I don't really see where my line is going and um, it just usually ends up a bit messy so I drew it by hand and I kind of don't mind that a bit hand-drawn look I actually quite like it so it's a win-win for me and now we're on my final page which is my monthly recap um, I kind of use the same format every month. Uh, it's the six graphs and in the middle I usually would write a recap or monthly recap and add some doodles just like I did here. Uh, so my six boxes are what I did for my goals, uh, my monthly outcome, uh, events I had during the month, what made me happy, what lessons I learned, and my monthly gratitude. Um, I found this working very well for me and I've been using the same format for monthly recaps for last five months I think. So let's do the flip through. I hope you guys like this setup. Please give me a hands up and subscribe.